Hello world, my name is Rohit Desponde, and uh, in this video I just really want to quickly uh, have you guys set up your uh, Linux VM. And you know, the reason we're doing uh, an Ubuntu VM is so that everyone is sort of on the same page in the sense that everyone kind of starts off at the same uh, level playing ground. And you know, then from there it's a really, really simple operation to install OpenCV onto uh, Linux. It's much uh, simpler to do it in Linux and it is to do it on Mac or Windows. So you'll need some way to create a VM and that's what VirtualBox is for. Um, what's great about VirtualBox is that it's 100% free and it's entirely cross-platform. It's also really, really easy to use. So if you head over to uh, virtualbox.org, there's this big download button. So click that and it'll bring you to these downloads you can choose the appropriate download for your system, whether that be Windows or OS X. And you know, after you download it, you can um, install it. And it's, again, like I said, it's a really intuitive interface. Um, it shouldn't take you much long to get a Linux VM set up. But if you do have any questions on how to get it configured and ready, uh, just put something in the comments section, uh, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So now where do I download Linux? Well, the particular flavor that we'll be using is uh, Ubuntu. And what's great about this is, again, it's also free. And uh, installing, we can install OpenCV from a single command because all of the library for OpenCV are actually already in the, um, the repository. So it's really simple to do this. And you're going to see uh, when you get the Linux VM up and running, I'll show you how to install it. It's going to be really simple. So you'll want to go to uh, ubuntu.com, then over here on the right, go to download desktop. And when you click, you can go ahead and download it, and it should actually automatically detect what your system, uh, you know, what kind of system you're running, AMD 64-bit, 32-bit. But if you know you want to play safe and just do it on a 32-bit, then you can go to alternative downloads and torrents. And if you scroll down here, you can download a very particular 64 or 32-bit uh, version, depending on whatever you want to do with that. And uh, I do also want to remind you that this is a VM, so there's no dual booting, none of that complicated stuff involved. It's really just a VM. So if anything you know, gets messed up from your VM when you're installing uh, Ubuntu in the VM, uh, you can always just scrap that VM and start over from in from a, uh, a system image like this. Uh, system images are in the extension .iso, I believe, for, uh, for Linux. So uh, like I said, hopefully you have VirtualBox downloaded and you downloaded Ubuntu and you have that set up and when you run it, it should you know, make you go through this whole installation process and you might as well, you can just take up the whole disk space involved because uh, I believe VirtualBox also does like an expanding storage thing. So however much, the more you storage you put on the, um, the Linux VM, it, the bigger the virtual hard disk will be. But yeah, I, like I said, it's a it's a pretty intuitive interface, so you should have no problems with it. Um, but if you have any weird errors or things that come up, just leave some in the comments, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So now that we're done with this, let's assume that you have the um, when you have the VM up and running, you will want to oh, you'll want to open up a terminal, which will be on the left here. And what you want to do, first of all, is update all of, get lists from all the repositories, get a package list from all the repositories. Now I'll just take a second to retrieve those. Okay, awesome. So that's, that's done with. And now what you can do is just run this command. It's sudo apt-get install lib opencv dash dev and then python-opencv. And these are the two libraries that you'll need for uh, running OpenCV. And it's super awesome because this is all you need to run. And you know, in my case, I already have them installed. To double check that you, these actually work, open up a, a Python interpreter. And just import the CV2 module. And if there are no errors, and it says, you know, if there are no errors, then you're great. It's fine. Everything works, and you can do you know whatever CV commands that you need to do. If there, if you get an error like um, uh, you know, could not find module CV two or something like that, uh, just 
put something in the comment section and then I'll get in contact with you and see if we can we can help you guys out. Um, this because it is from the uh, Linux repository, it won't necessarily be like the latest and greatest version of OpenCV, but that's okay because we're not going to be doing like super. We're not going to be doing much with the super new stuff. Um, and anyway, so this and this is fine. It's simple. Um, if you do want to have the absolute latest version, if you go to OpenCV.org, they have documentation on how you can download the source code for OpenCV and then compile it from source, but that's a really long and involved process. So this is just a much simpler uh, approach at doing this. So after you have uh, the uh, VirtualBox downloaded and you have the Ubuntu Linux VM set up and you've installed uh, OpenCV, you are good to go for the rest of the course. So uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start with raw image processing. So I hope to see you all in the next video.